Okay, now we're all set and we have our morph targets in the timeline and we're ready to export our character along with the morph targets and the animation. So we want to first go up into the scene tab and make sure that the Genesis 2 female is selected. Then we want to go up to File, Export, and I've already saved this, so I'm going to go ahead and, and delete this so we can go through it again because I want you to see how the entire process works. So let me just delete that. I'm going to call the, the file G2F Morphs for Genesis 2 Female Morphs. And make sure that in the drop-down menu here you're on Autodesk FBX, not any of the other, other choices. So we're going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Click Save, and it's going to bring up our FBX export options. And we want to embed, make sure these are selected like this, embed textures, FBX 2012 binary. It could be 2014 too. Either one of these are going to work. Make sure embed textures is selected, merge clothing into figure skeleton. Allow degraded skinning, allow degraded scaling, locks and limits, morphs. Real important that those are selected because otherwise all of this work you've done isn't going to be um, compiled into the FBX file. And also animations needs to be checked. Figures, props, and selected. You could check that if you want. That just means that over here in the scene, scene file, you have to make sure that you've selected the file. And then down in the bottom, let's uncheck that though. Uncheck selected because we want to make sure that we get everything in this file. It's going to have the charm here. See where it says yes. Genesis 2 female. Bikini top and bottom. All of that says yes. So we've got those all selected. Important also, let's click on the edit morph export rules. You want to make sure that Final anything bake is selected. So that's basically going to take everything and put it into the file. Now, later you'll see when we get into Unreal Engine 4, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup because it duplicates a few things. But for now, it's easier to do this. There is a way that you can add, um, and you can tell Daz Studio just to um, give you certain animations or certain morph targets and nothing else but you've got to make sure that the naming conventions are in here exactly otherwise it won't work correctly so let's go ahead and delete that leave final anything bake accept that so it looks like we've got everything here that we need everything looks good and then we just go down to accept and now daz is going to go through here and it's going to you can see over here that it's picking out all of our morph targets. It's getting all that in there. It's uh, taking our animation and it's recording the animation into the FBX file so that we can um, get everything all nice and neat in the FBX file. Okay, now we have our FBX file exported. So what we need to do now is go into the Epic Launcher. Let me minimize DAS. And we want to go into the Unreal Engine Launcher. So open that up. And we're going to create a new scene. This is going to be a practice scene. And the only thing we want to have in it is this character that we've been working on. So you want to go to the big yellow launch button here and make sure it's 4.19 so if you haven't upgraded now is a good time to upgrade to 4.19 click the launch button and it's going to launch the unreal editor for us and we want to select the new project tab we want a blank scene which is already highlighted for us. And we want to have these settings, desktop or console, maximum quality. And let's go ahead and create the scene with starter content because we're going to need the some of the um, 
materials. And then choose where you want to save it on your computer and select a name. I'm going to choose the same name that we had for the, the export. G2, oops, 2F. And you have to put an underscore here. You can't have a space. So G2F for Genesis 2 female underscore morphs is going to be the name of our project. And then just click create project. And Unreal is going to create that new one for us. Okay, now we have a brand new scene. Up here we can see that it's called G2F underscore morphs. And we are ready to import our character. So you see, click over here to expand the panel. We're in the content browser. And I want to create a new folder. So click on the content folder button, right click. And way at the top here, let's select new folder. And let's just say G2F underscore morphs. We'll keep everything consistent. And hit return and now we have a new folder where we can put our character. Now, in this blank area, we can either drag and you can drag your file in here or right click or add new. I usually right click in here and go up to import asset. And this is going to open up We want to find our G2F morphs. Click open. And now we're going to get, this is the very important import options for our FBX. And this is where you can mess up really easy and forget to check an import animations. See how this is not checked yet. We need to check the import animations. Otherwise it won't work. In the mesh, make sure that skeletal mesh and import mesh are both checked ticked off in the boxes. We don't have a skeleton yet, so we just leave this to none. And then right here, we need to show advanced. So click on that. Easy to miss this part. And then go down here where it says import morph targets. This needs to be checked. Otherwise, all of our morphs, they're not going to come in and we're going to be scratching our head and wondering where they all went. So make sure that's checked. Make sure import animations is checked in the animation section and then way at the bottom here we want to make sure that we import our materials and import our textures otherwise it's going to come in with nothing it's just going to be all you know with no texture or materials at all so once we have all those selected go ahead and click import and this is going to take a few minutes depending on your computer configuration so it's going to import all of the animations all the materials all the textures, and so on. And I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up so we don't have to wait for it. Okay, so now our character has been imported, and as we can see down here, the shaders are compiling at least partway. It's going to, it's going to finish up when we get into um, another part. So let's go ahead and just ignore that warning there. And here is all of our textures, our characters in there, all of our materials. And we're going to clean this all up. We're going to create a couple more folders and get organized so it's easier to work with. But for now, that's the end of this video, and we'll continue on in the next one.